I'm about to get renderific. Hey, Power Director peeps, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik, and I'm back on your screen with more Power Director love. You know, the Power Director love you need from PowerDirectorUniversity.com. Today, I'm going to show you how to render parts of your project in a timeline using Power Director. Now, if you didn't know how to do this before this video, I want you to leave a comment below, and I want you to add hashtag I'm new to this in that comment. I right? Now that I'm done with all that, let's jump into the software and make it happen. Here we are in Power Director 16. I'm going to show you how to render a section of your timeline so that it plays back smoothly during preview. Before we get started, I want to remind you to subscribe to Power Director University to see great tips and tricks just like this every Saturday. If you add speed or effect to your clips, or if you're using 4K files, uh, using the render preview option might be useful to you. There's several ways to improve your preview quality. And if you'd like to see more options, be sure to check out my smooth video preview fix tutorial. And I'll go ahead and put a link to that up in the corner somewhere so you can get to that easily. Now, I want you to keep something in mind. The way the video looks during preview has absolutely nothing to do with how it's going to look after you produce the video while you're editing the video can be laggy jumpy and all kind of stuff but it's going to look great after you produce the video this trick is for those of you who for some reason want the video to look pristine while you're editing this will add time to your workflow but if you just have to have it look smooth this is something you can do. As I stated, the other video is going to show you multiple ways of doing it. But let's go ahead and smooth it out. Smooth like Billy D. Williams. If you don't know who Billy D. is, then just Google him. All right. In the timeline, I have a couple of clips, and one of them is a 4K clip. That 4K clip is on the left hand side. It's a clip of a delicious, nutritious breakfast. Now, if I play this clip on the timeline, you notice that it's laggy as all get out. So let's go ahead and hit my space bar on my keyboard. And look at that, just jumping and bumping and lumping and clumping all over the place. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Now, I want to see buttery smoothness while I'm editing. And this lagalicious footage it ain't doing it for me. So I'm going to render this clip so that it plays smooth during preview. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to grab my playhead. I'm going to left click my mouse and I'm going to drag this back to the beginning of this clip. Now I'm going to place my cursor over this yellow mark out tab until my cursor turns yellow. Once it turns yellow, I'm going to hold on my left mouse and I'm going to drag this out to the place where I want to stop my render preview process. So if I wanted to do all of this, I'd stop here, but I just want to do this one clip. So I'm going to drag it here. And as I get close here, you'll see a little blue line shows up. This tells me that I'm hitting a mark in between two clips and it should snap right into place there. And I'm going to let go of my left mouse. So now I have selected the section that I want, and now you see that some new buttons have shown up above the timeline, and there's a button here that's called Render Preview. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Render Preview, and when you do that, a box shows up telling me that the video preview is rendering, and then over here to the right, you have a Render Status Bar. And then right here above the clip, you'll see that there is a, another render status bar that goes all the way across the section that I selected. And as each segment gets rendered, this little green bar continues to go across here. Once it gets all the way over here to the right, then that means that it is complete and the render process is done. Now, this could take a minute to do, so I'm just going to go ahead and speed this up for you guys so you don't have to 
sit through all of this. All right, so now everything is finished rendering. So let's go ahead and play this back. Buttray smoothness at its best. Before it was jumping all over the place through segments and stopping and laggy and snaggy. Now it's just going right across the screen looking real good to me. I like it a lot. Now remember. This can be used for 4K files, uh, clips that you add effects to, clips that you added speed to, uh, clips that have transitions. You could do segments of your timeline, all types of good stuff. And once again, if you want to see additional ways to create smooth previews, make sure that you check out my smooth video preview fix tutorial. That's it, buddy. It's a wrap. Smoothness at its best. All right, Power Director Peeps, I want to thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. And now I want to send a shout out to one of our subscribers, Urban Tech Reviews. Urban Tech Reviews makes videos on technology. He reviews phones, tablets, camcorders, all type of stuff. So if you're into technology and you want to see some reviews, head on over to his channel. Check out a couple of his videos. If you're feeling what he's dealing, make sure that you subscribe. If you're a subscriber to this channel and you'd like a shout out, make sure that you head to the video description and fill out the shout out request form. If you're a subscriber to this channel and you have a tutorial request, head over to the video description and fill out the tutorial request form. Now that I'm done with all of that, I got a few things I need you to do for me. The thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction, click on it. It lets people know that the content in this video is good and that they should watch it too. If you got any comments, questions, you just want to talk or chop it up with your boy, leave those things in the comment section below. And last but not least, smash that subscribe button. After you do that, click on the bell. Because when you click on the bell, you get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. And that way you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.